City-based architect S. Vishwanath has been a crusader for rainwater harvesting. He believes that Bangalore is one of the best suited cities for this. Bangalore is key to get uh, 970 millimeters of rain in an average year and there are about 60 rainy days spread from April to November. So this uh, translates to the equivalent of 3000 million liters per day equivalent falling on the city of Bangalore, which is twice the amount of water which will ever be pumped from the Kaveri River. Now even if we harvest half of all the rain that falls on the city, there need not be any water shortage at all. The types of rainwater harvesting systems include storage and recharge systems. It is not a very complicated process to install rooftop rainwater harvesting systems in new buildings. What you need to do is to slope the roof in the direction of your sump tank or the bore well or the open well, if you have any one of these three in your house or apartment. Then you bring the downpipes through a filter. The downpipes bring down the rainwater from the roof. Once the water is filtered, you can put it into your sump tank and reuse it for non-potable purpose or you can recharge the groundwater through recharge wells or recharge bore wells. Either way you can have this rainwater. And if it's for a new building, the cost is very less. It shouldn't cost you more than 5,000 to 6,000 rupees. Rainwater harvesting can be introduced in old buildings as well. It depends on the old building itself. See, typically old buildings were not designed for rainwater harvesting systems. So what one has to do is to take a common sense approach. Not to try and capture all the rainwater falling on the roof, but to pick the pipes which are closest to your sump tank or closest to your open well, put a filter and then start to recharge or start to store the water. Once you have done that, once you have taken the initial step of capturing 50% of the rainwater, then you can slowly try and incrementally add on to capture 100%. It's possible in most buildings, but some buildings it may not be possible. So we got to be practical about it. In his house located in Vidyaranyapura, Vishwanath has set up a successful rainwater harvesting system. For instance, in this storage system, rainwater that flows down the slope of the roof comes down through the conveyance. It is filtered and collected in the storage tank and can be used for all purposes, including drinking. The first rainwater that contains dust is not collected for drinking purposes. Vishwanath has also set up a system to recharge bore wells. Well, Bangalore had uh, 30,000 open wells. Since the coming of the bore well, the groundwater table has declined to 1,200 feet in many parts and open wells are no longer in existence. So what one tries to do through rainwater harvesting is to bring in something called a recharge well. This one is about 2 feet in diameter and about 12 feet deep. We pick the stormwater drain, 1 million liters of stormwater drain every year, put a small baffle tank and allow the water to go in into the recharge well. So it goes in and it increases the groundwater table substantially, providing life to bore wells, providing life to open wells. With groundwater levels fast depleting, rainwater harvesting could be the solution to Bangalore's water woes. Vishwanath, however, feels that just making it mandatory would not serve the purpose, as rainwater harvesting is a way of life. In Bangalore, with camera person Rajarajan, this is Karima for Real Estate Television.